Alright guys, welcome back. This time, I'm doing our laundry. One of the downfalls, or... I would kind of call it a downfall because I grew up with having it at the fingertips, um, is living off-grid and not having a way really to be able to do your laundry whenever you want. So like if you have a load of dirty clothes that you would prefer to wash right then and there, you kind of can't sometimes. Um, that's how it is with us, obviously. So I go and I do our laundry once a month, and that's in the beginning of the month, every month. And... A lot of the times I will wash our clothes and I will dry them at the laundromat. It's expensive to do that. So we finally got clotheslines and I'm just going to wash it all and then I'm going to go home and I'm going to hang dry it. May as well use the sunshine. That's at my fingertips at least for the moment. <laughs> um, so a lot of people use... Okay, there you guys go. Now you can't see it. Um, <laughs> so a lot of people use laundry soap, and for a long time, Richard and I did, but we aren't anymore. Um, there's a lot better, there's a, there's a more reasons not to use it than there are two. One of the reasons not to use it would be you don't have bugs flying all over you, like wasps trying to sting you, because, well, you smell like a flower. It came out. Sorry, I'm sorry, you guys. You have to see that I'm sorry. Um, and for me, I have to tell the wasps all the time that I'm not a flower. I might smell like it, but I'm not one, and I normally run away. Um, that and you don't have all those critters trying to find you because you smell good. So what we use instead of laundry soap is we use baking soda and vinegar. Um, and stores do have normal baking soda and washing soda. It's the same thing, you guys. Washing soda is a dollar more expensive, and you don't get nearly as much. It's like a pound or so less, I think, is what it was last time we looked. Um, and I wanted to wash. I wanted to buy the washing powder last time. Richard wouldn't let me, and I'm glad he wouldn't let me because then he had me look at the back and see the differences. And the same exact thing is just. One was a pound less and a dollar more. That's all that was the difference. It's ridiculous. So, I mean, you, and if you want to use some sort of perfumes or something, you know, you could always get like a bar of soap and just shave off some of it and put it in your washer machine along with your baking soda and your, um, your vinegar. We don't do that because there's no need to have the extra smells. Your clothes come out smelling like nothing. They're clean. So, I mean, it gets the job done, and it's a lot better for your body. You're not adding a whole bunch of chemicals or perfumes to it. Um, I know for me that I am allergic to a couple varieties of actual laundry soap, and I found that out the hard way. So, we stopped using those brands, and we kept going and buying laundry soap, well, there's no point. It's a lot more expensive to buy your laundry soap rather than just get a gallon of vinegar and a big box of baking soda. So that's what we use now. So, and that's what you guys are going to see. <laughs> so I am really excited to do our laundry and have you guys come along with me on our laundry, on my laundry excursion, because Heaven forbid Richard ever comes with me and actually helps. Love the man, but he doesn't. Honey, don't get mad at me when you're actually uploading this, because he actually might. <laughs> so, I have Ted with me, though. You can't see him. He's in the back seat sleeping, so that'll be my, my laundry buddy for the day. So, I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!